You can't just leave us. Watch me. Marcus, we need you. Yeah, well, we don't always get what we need, do we? What are we supposed to do without you? You'll figure it out. I spent the last 15 years sacrificing. And what has it gotten me, huh? A sick wife and a loser for a son. I'm tired of it. It's time I start living life for myself. I'm done letting you two get in the way of me living the life I deserve. Deserve? We are your family. Not anymore. If you leave now, don't you ever try to come crawling back to us. <laughs> like that'll ever happen. Mom. It's gonna be okay. Hey, hey, Charles, over here. Whoa, stop right there. Don't but, get any closer. But, but, but I, I know him, I know him. It's okay. I think he's my father. <sighs> wow, look at you, son, all grown. I heard you're, uh, you're a real big shot now. Some sort of um, real estate developer? Yeah, I do okay for myself. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Look at that car you drive. I'm just so proud of you, son. <sighs> Look, uh, I'm in a little bit of a, a jam, uh, financially speaking, and uh, I figure since you have money, you might be able to help me out. How much do you need? Hundred grand. Sure. I can do that. But not right now. I'm on my way to a meeting. Meet me at my house tonight, and we'll talk about what you need. Thank you, son. I knew I could count on you. Thank you. Got my money yet? I'm just about to. Don't worry. You'll have your money by tomorrow. No later. I promise. This is your last chance. I don't need to explain what'll happen if you don't have my money tomorrow. Place you got here. Thank you. Hey, it's been a long time, huh? It has. What have you been up to after all this time? Uh, to be honest, uh, things haven't gone the way I thought they would. Times have been tough. I'm sorry to hear that. And I'm sorry too for leaving you and your mother like that. It wasn't right. I know that now. And I'm sure sorry to hear about your mother passing. God, she was a great woman. I wasn't sure you'd heard about that. Yeah, I still keep my ear to the grapevine. I only wish I could have done more for her at the end, you know? Well, you're not here for small talk, are you? You're here for some money, right? It sure would help me out of a jam. Let me get that for you. Hundred thousand's all you need, right? It is. Thank you so much, son. Listen, before I give you this, 
I first need you to tell me what else you heard about Mom and I after you left. Oh, um, not much. I'd hear things every now and now and then, but nothing too specific. Well, let me fill you in then. You see, when you left, you took all but one hundred dollars with you, which meant Mom had to give up her treatments just to put food on the table. I had to work two jobs, one before school and one after, in order to help us keep the house. But even then, that wasn't enough. Stopping her treatment, combined with the stress of our situation, landed Mom in the hospital weeks at a time. Her condition worsened over the next few years. And each hospital stay only added to our growing mountain of debt. When she passed away, we were over three hundred thousand dollars in debt, and the months of not paying rent finally caught up to me. I lost the house. I had to live on the streets, going to school during the day, and collecting cans at night. After living on the streets for two years, I landed my first job. It took me four years of hard work to finally pay off all that debt, and another five to build my business what it is today. I'm so sorry that you had to go through all that, son. I know I wasn't there for you then, but I'm here now. You're here now? What? What makes you think I need you now? What does that mean? Where were you when Mom was dying, huh? And where were you when I was working three jobs to pay off all of our debts? That's when I needed you most, and you weren't there. So I ask again: What makes you think I need you now? I um, uh, I don't know what to say, son. That's because there's nothing to say, because you know I don't need you. Not anymore. Now wait a second. I supported you for 15 years. I deserve something for that, don't I? Deserve? Yes, deserve. I'm still your father, after all. <laughs> a father is someone who's there when it counts. You weren't. So for all I know, I don't have a father. So what? You're not gonna help me out now? I need that money. It's like you said the day you left. We don't always get what we need. Daddy, come see this. Okay, son, I'll be right there. I'm just walking this man out. I have a grandson. No, you don't. Come on, son. Let me just meet him. Son, come on. Charles, Charles. I finally told him, Mom, you can rest easy now.